Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I am doing a review on Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick. Let's get started. So I was shopping at Walmart. I saw this there and I was surprised. I think it's incredibly soft just touching it in the ball. Uh, it is 100% recycled polyester. It is 12 ounces, so it's a really large ball here. Uh, 340 grams. It's 223 yards, 204 meters. It's a super bulky six weight yarn, and it calls for an N13 or a 9mm hook. Uh, calls for a 9mm knitting needle as well. Uh, this is recycled. It's hand wash, lay flat to dry, so keep that in mind. But it is post consumer recycled polyester, so it's 100% of that. So I thought that was really cool. This is called Faded Denim, the color. And it is a nice lighter blue. It's not quite a baby blue, but it is a like a lighter country blue, if you will. Uh, I picked it up because I was impressed with the way it felt. I was pretty surprised that it was made from recycled fibers. So I'm going to pull some out, look at the content of the yarn. Uh, grab a hook that says a 9mm. So there were other colors there. The blue, of course, spoke to me because blue always does. But there was a darker blue and other colors. Uh, I will put the price on the screen because I don't exactly remember. This is what the fiber of it looks like. It is a bit fuzzy. It looks like a wool. So it is soft though. It does kind of have a wool feel. So if you're allergic to wool, this could be an alternative for you as far as look and feel. It's nice and soft though. It's almost brushed, if you will. Uh, I have an Omi hook here. 8 mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that out. So this is a lot of yardage for a super bulky six. You could easily do a hat and cowl with this. 223 yards. Yeah, you could easily do a hat and cowl. I know the, the hats and cowl sets that I've been working on have been running around one 100, 110 ish yards for a hat, for a cowl. So if you're looking to do a hat and cowl set, I know Linda Simpson has a make-along that she's doing. I think I posted that in the community page. If not, I will. You could use a ball of this for that. I feel like this was around $6, but I am not positive, so I'm not going to say that for sure, but I feel like it was around six bucks. It is nice and soft. It does have that bitey grab to it like wool does, but it is not wool. So that's pretty deceiving. Uh, if I was blindfolded, I might think it was wool. Just because of the texture of it. It works up nicely. I think I'll probably do a hat and cow set with this. Maybe I will do my paying it forward Friday stitch that I have. I already have that video up uploaded. Um, the hat doesn't come out until the second week. So the stitch flat will be this Friday, the 6th of October, if I have that right, and then the hat will be the following Friday on the 13th. 
This would definitely be something I could use to do one of those. Oh, it works up good. I like bulky yarn though. And it does have a nice squoosh, scrunchy. This would make great blankets. Definitely would make a good blanket, hat, cowl, scarf. Uh, all the things that you can think of to make for colder weather. This, this is definitely nice. I like this. Really like the color too. Faded denim. So you could get yourself a nice cowl and hat and gift it to somebody that always wears jeans and uh, have them a nice Christmas gift or holiday gift set that they will wear all the time because it will match them. So it does stick to my hands a bit, but I am always dry and that is just my life, but it frogs nicely. Um, it's a good yarn. I like it. Uh, I love the fact that it's made out of recycled polyester. I think that is aces. So what would I rate respun thick and quick? I like it and I like the colors a lot. They're all very grown up, if you will. Um, low key yet beautiful. I like it a lot. I don't see any problem with this yarn. I really like squooshing on it. Uh, I'll probably pick more up at Walmart because I enjoy getting yarn there. It makes me happy to go there because <laughs> I don't really like going there. Um, all of our Walmarts in our area are always busy. And so it's not always a joy to go shopping. But if I'm thinking about yarn, it that will help me. So I will probably pick up more of this. I think I would love to make a blanket with it. I really, really do. I think it would be nice and cozy in the winter. Next week, we're going to be in the 50s. So yeah, I think a blanket would be really nice. Pick up a few more of these and make a nice throw for the living room. So what would you make with 223 yards of super bulky yarn? Uh, I have given a lot of ideas, but what would you make? And have you tried this yarn? Uh, has it been out for a while? I have never seen it before. Uh, the date on it says 2021, so I must be behind the times. I have not seen this yarn before. I've never seen this yarn in a store before, so I like it. I like it a lot. Um, giving it a high rating because I think it's worth the price, definitely. Uh, so go check it out at your Walmart. Maybe your Walmart has some. I don't know where else they sell it because like I said, I hadn't seen it before. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I will link the um, hat and cowl sets below. This was the loops and threads one. And that's made with super bulky yarn. And then this is the cabled set. This would be gorgeous in this. Um, the, it's, they're both hat and cowl sets. I don't know where my cowl is to the loops and threads one. But this is the cowl to the... Oh, it's right here. It's literally sitting right next to me by some papers. So let me pull my camera out so you can take a look. That's about as far as I can pull out. So on the left is the spiffy cabled hat set cowl and hat. Uh, on the side is the All the Fall Things cowl and hat set. And either of those patterns would be beautiful with this yarn. So take care, everyone. I appreciate you. Until next time, guys.